Imagine the effort and the agonizing pain in the heart of them that removed the nails from the lifeless Jesus' hands and feet as they freed him from the cross. Joseph took Jesus' body and with Nicodemus wound him in fine linen with spices according to Jewish customs. Listen, it is not until now that I thought about the process, the preparation of burial according to the Jewish customs. So let me try to explain. Just imagine what may have taken place as these men prepared Jesus' body before the dirt. Imagine Jesus' body laying lifeless on a cold stone as they took great care and love to wash Jesus' tortured body from head to toe as they mourn and cry in agonizing pain as they wash the blood from his face and blood-soaked hair. Imagine how they carefully washed his once nailed hands, then his arms and legs, and as they washed his blood-stained feet, just as he had once washed the disciples' feet. Just imagine how careful they were to preserve Jesus' dignity and honor as they anointed his body with oils and perfumes that were fit for a king and then lovingly wrapped the shroud about his body as they so tenderly placed Jesus in what they believed to be Jesus' final resting place, the tomb. Now, if you will, imagine Mary Magdalene bringing even more oils and perfumes to the tomb after their Sabbath to anoint King Jesus, only to find that he wasn't there because God had risen him from the dead. Now this got me to thinking. I I began to think what Jesus said in scripture. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me, said the Lord. You can find that in Isaiah 57, 54, 17. 17. Listen, no weapons formed against thee shall prosper. That means no lies, no trial, no beating, no cross, no nails, no mocking, no ridicule, and no death. All these weapons that were formed against Jesus did not prosper. Jesus defeated death. So now I'm thinking my wheels are turning. We too shall all lay on some cold, hard surface as someone washes and care for our body and pour perfume and oils over it to preserve and keep the stench from coming through so that our friends and loved ones can view us before the dirt, before we are Lord. In our tomb. But thank God that death was defeated because, as Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. This is a promise from the mouth of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Now, if you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord, And Savior, do it now because the kingdom of God is at hand. This is your chance to repent, trust, and believe in the promises Jesus himself has made. It reads again, so that though you were dead, yet shall you live if 
you believe in Jesus. That word if is very important. Because in order to live again, you have to believe in Jesus. Now, I don't own the rights to the music or the graphics, but I thank God for them. I, Minister Sharon Ford of Spiritual Care Southfield, may our Lord and Savior be with you until we meet again.